Each micronymic has two strands, of course, as natural partially produced micronymic. It has the mature guide strand and also the star of passenger strand. For uh, both of the strands, theoretically, both of them can be incorporated in the agar complex and they can induce effects at the mRNA level. <coughs> The easiest way to monitor activity coming from both strands is a report assays. So on the left you see uh, the report assay where microRNA target was cloned to the correct orientation so that you can assess activity coming from the guide strand, the one of interest. And on the right we produce reported clusters that have the target <coughs> cloned in reverse complement orientation so that you can assess activity of the uh, passenger strand that should be completely inactive. And uh, we did this for six different constructs. And if, as you can see on the left, so the mature guide strand were extremely efficient. Compared to negative control, we routinely achieve 80 to 90 percent down regulation. On the right, you see that the reverse uh, target was non active at all, indicating that our chemical modifications that we introduced into the mimics they worked very well. They resulted in complete abolition of activity. And the blue curve is silencer select that is pretty potent and uh, these are two products from competitors that are lagging behind they do not allow to achieve similar extent of knockdown uh, another experiment that we did with the race was uh, using uh, non-targeting siRNA so we designed 10 negative controls bioinformatically that were not supposed to target any human mouse or red genes so theoretically for these sequences no matter what you see is automatically off target effect and uh, indeed, so for 10 of them combined, we saw only about 32 of target effects, the changes of certain, uh, changes of certain RNAs uh, up or down. And uh, when we applied silence select LNA modifications, we could instantly achieve 85% reduction of this of target effects. Thank you.